while it's okay to teach yourself a couple things um or have your friend teach you a couple things ultimately i think it just makes more sense to do a group class and get it all out the way now so that you have a really strong foundation hello there welcome back to my channel my name is jada and this is jada solo dances i'm an adult figure skater and i have to tell you taking group figure skating lessons was the best decision that i made in my adult life so far nearly every figure skater that you've seen doing really cool figure skating moves has started in a group lesson learning how to do swizzles and one foot turns and basic jumps in this video i'm going to tell you if group lessons are for you i'm going to start with the benefits of group classes then tell you how to go about signing up and then i'm going to round it off with saying what you should expect for your first day and the things that you should maybe be doing while you're in your group lessons so the benefits of group classes are immense but i'm going to keep them down a little bit group lessons are a really good way because they are very low cost compared to figure skating for a six week group lesson session you can expect to spend about maybe 60 at the very very low point up to maybe like $200 that's including probably a little bit of practice time as well as 30 minutes of instruction with a coach I can't tell you how much I mean I'm spending $48 per 30 minutes to work with my private coach and if you don't even own your own pair of skates or maybe even if you do sometimes you don't know that you want to just dump a bunch of money into this new thing in addition to learning with a coach you get to learn with a bunch of people who are at about the same level as you so you get to make some friends make sure you get some people's phone numbers or instagrams or whatever you have TikTok because i can guarantee you that at least one or two people that you have your group lesson with are going to be your buddies you're going to see each other at public sessions you're going to see each other at different rinks if you live in a city with a lot of rinks like philly group lessons are a really low stakes environment to learning new skills because you're around a bunch of people who are trying the exact same thing everybody's really alert learn to skate sessions typically are very calm you're in your own little secluded section you might have a couple of groups kind of like crossing over you but for the most part if you're in like basic one or two you're just going to be in like one general area and you're going to have a lot of space to fall to practice your little one foot glides so you don't have to worry about being on like a super crowded public session practicing it's a really good way of learning new stuff in a really controlled environment especially when a coach is around to watch you and support you and everyone is properly prepared to deal with you if you get injured now there is one little baby downfall in a group class and that is that if you happen to be someone who learns really fast or really slow group classes might not be at the right pace for you worst case scenario coaches talk and if you are significantly ahead of your group your instructor should be able to move you up into the next level so you're not too far advanced or too far behind so i don't see that being a significant barrier into your taking a group lesson so now that i've told you all the great ways uh that group lessons are something that you really should 100 percent do no really you should do them let's talk about how to sign up now the easiest way to sign up for a group class is to just use your favorite search engine and type in ice skating classes enter your city you might live anywhere in this world so i don't want to tell you specifically where but if you do happen to be in the u.s you can use um the learn to skate usa website or you can use the skate isi website if you happen to be closer to an area where there's isi versus us figure skating canada has can skate and skate uk is for the uk this is going to look different slightly for everyone but generally you put it in your location somewhere there's a finder for a registered club near you you're going to sign up wherever you're going to sign up for. If you have to call someone or email or just fill out a form, do all the necessary things for a club at your level. It doesn't really matter where you take your first couple lessons from. If you're just looking, just go ahead and jump in the first thing that is closest and has a date and time that works for you for the session. 
And generally, that's pretty much it. You just make your payment and you wait for the first day. And that's it. Now you just have to watch a lot of videos on Instagram and YouTube and be really excited about your first day of learning how to skate. Ah, it's so exciting. All right, so preparing for your first day. You've already paid or, you're, or you are making a payment soon. You've already signed up, registered for your first day. You got your learn to skate USA book or whatever. You're ready to go. What should you expect for your first day? So first of all, please dress warm it is an ice rink i don't care if you're taking a lesson in the middle of the summer and you live in arizona okay please bring leggings if you something that covers your whole leg don't even if you have to change when you're inside don't wear shorts on the ice as a beginner don't do it please just because you will be on the ice you will be standing for a long time not moving and your legs will get cold and you want to protect them because ice can be rough you want to dress warmly so please wear long legs now for arms you want to layer so maybe wear a short sleeve or a long sleeve depending on what time of the year it is and then a light kind of jacket or a vest something that you can take on and off don't wear like a long bulky jacket or coat uh, unless you're a coach uh, just because it doesn't enable you to move around a lot and you will be learning how to fall on your first day You're going to be learning basic stuff and you just want to make sure that you have mobility Wear long socks. You're going to be using rental skates unless you bought your own which in case good job for you But most of you are going to be using rental skates and for figure skates until you get a little bit more Comfortable wearing skates. Please wear long socks. Long socks are just going to save you so much um, ankle comfort and cleanliness because rental skates are disgusting trust me i worked at a rink also if you don't think you need gloves go ahead and just buy like a dollar pair of gloves now matter of fact buy a bunch of them because as i said you're going to be learning how to fall your hands are going to get cold touching the ice if you've ever had a wet hand and stuck it in a thing of ice particularly in your freezer um yeah that hurts it's the same thing on an ice rink so don't don't come without gloves you can after the first day you can decide if you want to keep gloves or not but i would suggest for your first day please bring gloves so to sum up what you should be wearing layers on the top long pants long socks and gloves now, your first day is going to be different uh, depending on what club you're at, but generally you'll walk in, you'll say, hey, I'm here for skating lessons, they go cool, You'll they'll ask you your name or something, they'll tell you where to go, you'll find your instructor, whether you guys start off ice or on ice depends on where you are. Generally, they're going to teach you about what an inside edge and an outside edge is, they're going to teach you how to fall and they're going to teach you how to do some swizzles or lemons or whatever. Uh, you can guys can go look at my basic one uh, video if you want to have an idea on the first seven skills that you'll be learning. Uh, but you're not going to learn all seven the first day. Now, a lot of um, clubs do this differently, but all of the places that I've been, you have a half an hour of instruction and a half an hour of practice time. So you'll either start with your practice time and then your instruction or you'll do the other way around. I would say take advantage of that practice time to just kind of really integrate what you've learned and then also look on the internet to see if you remember what those skills were if you're in learn to skate or skate uk i'm not sure about skate canada you'll have a little booklet that says all the skills that you've covered so that you can come back and remember all of them so after your first day what should you do i would suggest practicing one session a week if you can I know we're busy and if you're an adult finding time might be difficult but i would suggest if you really want to get full use out of your group lessons that you should take a session per week outside of your group lesson and free time to really just work on your swizzles and your stops and all those things that you might be working on because you're going to feel a lot of progress. Something about skating is that the only real way to get better at it is to keep doing it. And if you can't get something the first time, 
you just have to keep working on it sometimes it's a strength issue sometimes it's a technique issue but it's all muscle memory so you just have to keep working at it and the more that you put into it the more you're going to see out of it and so i've seen a lot of people skip two sometimes three levels uh by the end of a six week period just because they practice a little bit now i'm not saying that you have to practice um but I would say if you want to get the most out of it, <clears throat> definitely, especially when there are more public sessions available, try to practice once a week outside of class. Something else to consider is buying your own skates. Now, I bought my first skates uh, about three days after uh, my first lesson because the rental skates at the rink I was skating at were garbage. Um, and I literally went from not being able to swizzle to passing through basic one like completely in the matter of a week <laughs> so um your own skates make such a difference in your ability to skate they have sh sharper edges than uh rental skates they are more conform to your feet because only your feet are in them uh and they're just higher quality skates rental skates are not made very uh expensively um as a regular pair of skates are uh, and if you want to see a couple of skates that i recommend you guys can go ahead and check uh, the description i have already reviewed a couple of basic skates and there's also a wealth of information on the internet finally i would say as you're going along on your adventure record your progress there are, is a huge community of adult skaters on TikTok and Instagram and even on YouTube. And I am so inspired sometimes seeing people who've been skating for six months already on like loop jump with their coaches. Um, and for me, the first few months of recording my progress really helped me because it helped me see wow i went from not being able to swizzle to literally doing outside three turns in months and i was really impressed by that and it kind of kept me going and if you post it on instagram or tiktok or youtube you have access to the whole community of adult skaters who are cheering you on and can keep you involved i get it that sometimes you have to step back from your hobbies but I've found so much benefit out of posting my progress on Instagram, even though I don't necessarily post myself all that much anymore. But in the beginning, it was endlessly helpful for me to stick with it, um, even when there were moments in time where I was like, I don't really know if I want to keep doing this. But I think it's a really good thing to consider if you want to have a way to keeping yourself accountable and also celebrating all of your wins. Anyway, I hope you guys have been inspired to start uh, the process in getting into a group lesson. I'm telling you, dude, don't even bother teaching yourself unless there's no other option. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be sure to let y'all know when I make my next video. If you want to know when I post my next video and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I do post a video. It'll come up in your phone and I don't know, some other stuff. And anyway, I, I will see y'all later, okay? Take care.